I'll make a lot of noise right now for Kate Murphy! Kate Murphy! <laughs> Great. Uh, everybody feeling good? Doing good? That's good. Uh, I recently had an appendectomy. I had my appendix taken out. Thank you so much. Uh, has anybody ever had major abdominal surgery? Yeah, they just like forgot to mention that post-surgery I was never gonna like poop again, right? Has anybody had surgery? Turns out pooping's not a part of it. Uh, wasn't pooping and I wasn't allowed to drink alcohol, which sucks because those are literally my two favorite things to do. So it was awful. <laughs> then this thing happened, I'll tell you the story. The day I got home from the hospital, the day I got home, I got my period. And I was just like so high on these drugs, I just assumed I was bleeding out from the surgery. I was like, oh my God, something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> so I called the hospital. Uh, <laughs> I know who left me alone with the phone. I'm so high. I call the hospital and I'm like, I need to speak to a doctor immediately. And I'm like, doctor, doctor, I had surgery yesterday and now I'm bleeding. He's like, oh my God, man, that is very serious. Where are you bleeding? And I was like, from my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was like, well, that has been known to happen. Uh, just like occasionally. <laughs> That's when I figured out it was my period, because then he said my favorite thing ever. He was like, can I help you with anything else? And I was like, nope, sorry. And I hung up the phone. <laughs> so I'm back on the booze. Uh, that's the point of that joke. What else? Uh, my brother, my older brother, he recently purchased and continues uh, to ride an electric unicycle. <laughs> it's not the joke, but thank you for laughing. It is. I think it's funny. I think it's funny, except that we're like always in a debate where he's arguing because he won't wear a helmet. And I'm like, that's a very dangerous vehicle. You need to wear a helmet. And this is my brother's logic about his electric unicycle. He's like, I don't want to wear a helmet. I'll look stupid. Uh, <laughs> he is so stupid. <laughs> oh man, like, he's so stupid. We were watching an art film. We'd, we'd seen it before, we were watching this art film. He's so stupid, he turned to me and he said, oh my God, this scene is so beautiful. And urethral. He's <laughs> like, are we watching the same movie? I was like, urethral. I was like, I think the word that you're thinking of is ethereal. He's like, yeah, urethral. And I was like, no, this is not the same word. Oh my God. Those are not the same word. In fact, there's a vast difference between those two words. Oh! I went to college. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you can't, I, clap for me, I just graduated from college. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. Just graduated about two years ago, so I'm just getting out there, right? <laughs> what am I gonna do? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if supplies to anybody in this room, but if your parents ask you how you uh, plan to pay off uh, the crippling amount of student debt you've accumulated, I'm dicking around at fine art school, don't tell them stand-up comedy. Don't tell them. <laughs> anybody pay, you get, clap if you're a parent. You got kids? Anybody in here? Yeah, some of you. That's Portland. There's like, I don't want anyone to know. Uh, it's, <laughs> It's cool to be a parent, and it's also just gonna be like entirely your fault, just like whatever it is, right? Like my parents pretend like this is not their fault somehow. Like my dad lives in a camper, and he's like, what are you doing with your life? And I'm like, I know, I know. And I was gonna be like, dad, you made me watch Alien when I was like eight years old. And all I ever learned from you was how to flick lit cigarettes at joggers, so I don't know what you were expecting to happen. <laughs> that joke's called, I'm from Montana. Uh, it's, it's fine. Oh man. You guys like this time of year? You like this no sunshine thing? Just, just me? Okay. <laughs> you can see me, right? It's, 
like I get burnt walking around inside Fred Meyer, so this is my power season. Uh, I also love that I get to wear lots of layers, lots of sweaters, cover up these wonky ass boobs. Anybody else? My boobs don't match. Thank you. People usually do clap in solidarity. It's very great. Uh, right? They're not supposed to look the same, right? They, I don't know why I'm singling you out specifically. I'm sorry. I just, like, you get it, right? I don't know. They're not supposed to be like sisters, not twins, or something like that, right? actually unrelated, turns out. Not even the same family, don't. <laughs> like if these are twins, like, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger and this is Danny DeVito. Like it's that kind of a thing. <laughs> one's got a lot of muscle, the other one's like, weirdly hairy. It's this whole thing. I know, I know. <laughs> one of them is so, it's just fine. Like it's just nipple in the middle optimistic as fuck all day long. <laughs> Looks pretty normal, and then this guy's just kinda staring off into the distance, just flapping in the wind. <laughs> this is the one in the mirror every morning that's like, well, at least you have a personality, you know, just kinda like <laughs> over here. Separately, they totally look like normal boobs, right? They're, it's great, but then you squeeze them together and this whole middle section turns into this very like, it's like a lazy-eyed Steve Buscemi face, right? It's like, <laughs> really sexy in its visual authenticity. I feel like you guys aren't on board with this Steve Buscemi thing. He's cute, right? Steve Buscemi is cute. I grew up with a pug. I don't know if that's anything to do with it. He's just so cute. I just clean those face wrinkles with a Q-tip. Um, <laughs> It is, it is hard dating out there with some wonky boobs, just hard dating, <laughs> our biggest secret. And uh, actually, actually, this isn't even a joke, I'm just looking for a dude over the age of 30 with a bed frame. Can't find one in the city of Parland, turns out, actually. <laughs> Literally can't find one. Like a guy asked me if a box spring counts, I was like, get it off the floor, like I can't bring my standards any lower. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying, I got on Tinder, we're all, can you see, some of you on Tinder, right? Some of you pretending like I didn't swipe left for you on Tinder. Uh, it's, I had no idea Tinder is just picture after picture of the same tiny little hiker on top of a mountain, actually, just the same little, he's up there, he's on top of a mountain. I can't see what he looks like, right? And in the bio, uh, it always says something really stupid, like, looking for a wife. I know. I know, I'm like, you're not gonna find one up there. Uh, like, what are you doing up there? I think that's all the time for me, you guys. My name's Kate Murphy. Good enough for your host. Thank you so much.